Good morning. As you know, I live in Sweden. And one of the things that I hear about Swedes from people in other countries is that the Swedes are naive. Yeah, very common. Is it true? Yeah, it is. In general, the Swedes are very naive. Of course, there are thousands and thousands here who are not. But this is true, especially, I think, the young people. You know, they paint the world in pink. Everybody should love each other. Nobody's really bad. You know, this stuff. And for these people to wake up, well, it's tough. Uh, something needs to happen to them personally or, you know, a friend of theirs or something. Then they might change their mind and wake up. Uh, something happened to this guy. Uh, it's a Swedish white rapper. He's 18 years old. His name is Einar. He's very popular. He was uh, Sweden's most played artist last year. That's right. A lot of fans, media, they love him. Oh, he's so real, you know. And this guy, he's singing a lot, was rapping about uh, the criminals criminal gangs and he's he has this romanticized view on criminal gangs something happened to this guy yeah he was kidnapped uh, in the no-go zone and then there were pictures starting to circulate on social media what happened to this guy so there are pictures with him surrounded by people in masks, you see. This is in Sweden, right here. Hmm. And he's got blood on his face. He was also, and this was all filmed, he was dressed, he was dressed up in women's underwear, uh, wearing a wig, you see, and then he was raped, penetrated with sex toys and this was all filmed so I wonder about this w will this guy change his mind will he still rap about how good the criminal gang life is or and what is his, what will his fans think about this yeah I just had to tell you this story all right be good bye